you cannot be walking in a territory and everybody is looking at you as if you're a piece of rag it means there is a condition that is responsible for that mockery and that shame and i'm telling you in the presence of god that condition can change when you say it's my background what you are simply saying is there is a condition god can give you another condition there is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary there is a stillness in the atmosphere oh come lay down your burdens for in the sanctuary so as a normal human being you can hug you can shake you can greet but when jesus comes you will be amazed the same words you were hearing from morning now does not become the words of a man again when these words begin to come please listen to me i want you to just imagine light coming from the throne to your life and what is it doing changing conditions changing conditions and you check yourself and find out just like a dream is gone just like a dream and there are certain conditions that you may not be able to verify physically because they don't come with pain but you believe at the instance of god's word the power of god is touching that woman on purple help that woman i'm seeing like oil being poured on her oh madam your life is about to change in a way that will surprise you jesus the son of god Please pray strings for me. Take it higher. Listen. I used to watch this years ago in the meetings of Catherine Kuhlman, T.L. Osborne. And I would see these people would just come with childlike faith, Reinhard Bonke. And when they would teach, they would tell you that Jesus is here. And you would think it's a joke. Within minutes, brothers and sisters, you will see all kinds of miracles. And I said, God, there has to be an explanation to this just like that and then i learned that it is not just like that when the anointing comes when you are frying palm oil in the kitchen women look up please you know what happens to that kitchen as soon as fire what happens sometimes the condition can be so harsh it does not speak to you but it will make you run out of that kitchen so if you are a demon for instance when the fire is applied and that kitchen is you there is something that that fire is able to do and it will make what was there help them to leave you see how deliverance happens yes just because a word is spoken be free be delivered no no it's not just a word speaking there there are innumerable company of angels the power of god moving from place to place what is the assignment to find out what is not consistent with the character of the christ we have called this a miracle service and the bible says everything adam called it that was the name thereof When Jesus appeared to me and stretched his hands towards me, I'm telling you, I know the light entered me. Whether it entered through my head, whether it entered through my chest, I don't know. Don't ask how the power of God will get into your body. <clears throat> the power of God is not a needle. The power of God is not a tube that is passed through you. It can come in and begin to correct things. And that when it's time to testify you will find yourself running to come and stand and say jesus this really happened 
how about conditions in your office how about conditions in your bank account how about conditions in your your life your family apostle we have tried and tried to build for seven years this house has refused to be completed i tell you there is a condition making that happen by the time god releases something upon you remember all blessings come from god i've taught you through man to man that is the dynamics like you hear people testify someone calls you even while service is going on and says where are you i don't know why i just feel like blessing you now you understand a condition reproach is a condition infirmity is a condition spirits merely enforce conditions that is the assignment in a human body or in an environment to enforce conditions conditions that create outcomes that negate the speakings of the word a miracle service therefore is a platform that allows the word of god in partnership with his power to move in the midst of his people and begin to correct conditions correction that can be scientifically proven spiritual in origin miracles are platforms where both science and faith agree let me repeat myself miracles are platforms where both faith and science agree faith says be healed science confirms that it happened to you faith says be delivered science confirms that it happens every true miracle must have a scientific expression because they are the two platforms that explain man and the occurrences in our cosmos faith takes care of the realm of the spirit and the supernatural science gives interpretation and meaning to what happens in our physical environment none of them is anti-god in itself it starts from the realm of the spirit light be and it manifests physically as light so the healing starts from the realm of the spirit and physically your life and your destiny your children physically like the dear ones who shared their testimony here can you imagine that one word just comes by the spirit and dear people of god look at this one word to a politician may god shift you and it will look like just a word until you see the forces that fought you begin to come and you will know that a condition has changed how about a businessman you're trying to do everything you know to do but there is a condition that authorizes both men and spirits to fight you my assignment tonight is to walk in partnership with the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit to engineer this transformation by turning the conditions in your life around and this by the grace of god will be faithfully done tonight are you ready please rise up on your feet just two prayer points and i'll begin to pray for you prayer point number one i'd like you to insist tonight please be intentional insist by way of prayer that these conditions the bible says that the things that are seen are temporal but the things that are unseen are eternal lift your voice and begin to pray the things that are seen are temporal the sickness that i see is temporal the oppression that i see is temporal is someone praying she le baka to prondo ko to parigasia shite de 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 bara take it out ela matoshi araba balagada vodo sheke pa ela mo sata de roshika ete brekete she balado zaka hallelujah hallelujah the last prayer point tonight it is 
I, I began to sense this even before I left for the miracle service in Zaria. Just help those under the anointing already. I sense that tonight, God is not only visiting individuals, but God is extending it even to families. I began to sense that right from Wednesday or so. That, you see, there are some of our family members that may not have the faith or the discernment to receive. But God is using you tonight as an altar. Not only to speak for yourself, but to speak for families. Are you ready to pray? Now lift your voice in one minute and say, Father, not just me, but everyone connected to me. Please pray. Not just me. Is someone praying? Outside, pray. Online, pray. Jesus, the lifter. Jesus, the healer. Jesus, the restorer. In la mota gade proko repeke tepe roko do pada en plato shabala takita hallelujah hallelujah the final thing i would tell you is please be sensitive to divine instructions you see under the influence of the spirit there are many things that don't make sense but in the childlikeness of the gospel romans 15 and verse 19 let that be the last scripture let me show you something Paul is speaking to the church in Rome 15 and verse 19 it says through mighty signs and wonders and by the power of the Spirit of God oh dear it says that from Jerusalem and round about unto Illyricum, I have preached fully preached the gospel of Christ so the gospel is not fully preached until there are miracles signs and wonders right now just before we pray just stand still everybody where you are no shouting no nothing i just wanted to bring for me those who are under the anointing whether inside or outside just do what i'm asking you to do sing hallelujah Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing Christ is risen from the dead. Sing Christ is risen. Sing Christ is risen. Sing Christ is risen from the dead. Because I, I just I began to see angelic activities just moving across inside and outside, touching people. And the Lord is giving me an instruction. Just bring the people out. Some of you, it's not just individuals. God is touching families using individuals. This is a miracle service. Now, hold on, please. Hold on, please. Um, the Lord is opening my eyes. And I'm seeing like fire. I saw the number 43. And I'm seeing it come on people. And the Lord is telling me he is visiting foundations. That's what I'm hearing. Right now I stretch my hands inside and outside. 43. In the name of Jesus. I don't know where they are. But I stretch my hands. Foundation. I've been visited by the Spirit of God. Negative foundation. Help them please. Negative foundation. Negative foundation. Negative foundation. Negative foundation. 
This is the place of encounter. Do to me what you want. Bring them out. This is the place of surrender. The word of God. This is the place where your life is changed. You me what you want. Hallelujah. I people laughing in the spirit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The power of God is going to come on those people. This is very strange. But I want you to carry them and bring them out. Like an outburst of holy laughter. There is a prophecy for them. Bring them out. This is a ministry of signs and wonders. There is nothing superstitious here. It is the mighty act of God in the midst of his people. Bring them. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Please bring them. An outburst of laughter is not something you can control. Hmm. God of heaven. These people are not, this is not just a, a, some carnal manifestation. God is establishing great victories in their lives. Hallelujah. Victoria. I'm hearing the name Victoria. Who is Victoria? I presume there may be many people with that name. But I want to speak to you now. Hold on, please. Don't don't run for yourself. Where are you coming from? Huh? Mama, where are you coming from? I'm here in Abuja, but I come from Kaduna. From Kaduna, I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you here. Help them, please. Please don't come out carelessly. Don't come out carelessly. If you don't have any business coming out, please, there's order in the house of God. In as much as these are manifestations, don't worry. God is going to visit you. We are not wasting our time. I'm hearing a name, Olu Shegun. Olu Shegun. This is a Yoruba name. Olushegu, you are wearing a short dress, a short-handed dress. Is there someone like that? Olushegu. Who is that? What's your name? Olushegu. From where? From Okuse. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? I manage the son of my friend. I want to pray. You heard what I was teaching about lifting. This is what is going to happen to you. My friend, believe God, oh, God is the lifter of men. Hallelujah. Mama, please lay your hand on, I hope you are not embarrassed. Can I talk to you? I want to rebuke BP, high blood pressure, high blood pressure. I want to rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, huh. Something is about to happen here. Now, please look at me. Everybody pay attention. Let me explain before it happens. You see, the apostolic and the prophetic call, if and when administered within the boundary of scripture and with spiritual intelligence, outside of superstition and rubbish and nonsense, when it is administered within the boundary of scripture, can work wonders. And you have to be flexible when you are in an apostolic and a prophetic atmosphere. In as much as scripture remains the basis of all that we do, the dynamics of its operation, the Bible says there are diversities of gifts. Are we together now? There are diversities even of operation. Now I confess to you, the world is watching and I want to say something before I pray. There are certain gifts and manifestations that God has put upon my life. That I was almost tempted to shelve them for a while Until I studied through scripture 
or in the life of they that have gone ahead of us so that we would not bring error in the body but i searched searched search and i did not really find anyone i know operating this dimension of what what is about to happen and because of that i went to scripture and then i found out that there were things that were hidden that were not known in time past but that in these days god had revealed them who is apostles and prophets the lord would open my eyes and show me the map of a nation or the map of a city and i would see light would point a particular region and the moment i announce it all the people from that region the power of god begins to touch them this is a sign and a wonder when it started in my life i said what is the meaning of this are we together now and i'm saying that because this is what i'm seeing i'm now seeing that vision right now of a map and the light of god is touching kogi state this is what i'm seeing listen help them please you see what i'm saying kogi state kogi state bring them out kalatuski debra katusiata kebrantos kalibra katusiata kogi state god is bringing deliverance there are foundations there are altars that have tied the destinies of men down in the name of jesus i come by the apostolic and the prophetic here at this miracle service kogi state doesn't matter what local government in the name of jesus by the power that raised christ from the dead we arrest everything please don't come out on your own palisa breketusia takara sufia in the name of Jesus Hallelujah These things are manifestations of the spirit It is to profit the believers Hear me Except God is not God Everything that followed you here this night to tie your destiny, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Help them, please. It must let you go now. It must let you go now. Covenant. It must let you go now. Yoke from ancestry. It must let you go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah now there is someone here in politics the power of god is coming on you i'm not i'm not a politician i don't play politics i'm a man of god but i love politicians i love great people i don't run away from them we are sent to minister to them but there is a politician right now i'm talking the power of god is coming on the person just hold the person i want to prophesy if that is a woman just hold her i want to speak to her because i'm seeing her climb a ladder there is a strange political door that is about to open up for her listen this is the house of god it's impossible to come here and return back minister dunstan already told us here i am that i am let me use please just rest you don't have to just take it easy with her I don't know who she is, but just help her, please. That's all right. We are hold her there, please. Don't worry, you don't have to. Just keep her there. You don't have to lift her. Just keep her there, Madam. We respect you. We do not insult your pedigree in any way. It's just to speak over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come. I use her as a point of contact. I don't know why God is speaking to those who are politicians. If you are in politics here and you have been grounded by any reason i stand in the name of jesus you see every state rises based on the king priest prophet formation the king priest prophet formation i declare in the name of jesus everyone here politically may my god lift you to the next level may my god lift you to the next level by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Ene Ojo. Ene Ojo. 
Is there a name like that? O J O. What's your name? Huh? Give please. Is the mic working? What's your name? From where? Kogi State. Stand here. I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus? Where are you coming from? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Every door that has been closed over your family, I'm speaking to you now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, may that door be opened now. Yeah. Madam, what do you do? Hold on, please. Is this mic working? Please, media, help us. I'm a politician. You are a politician? Yes, sir. I hope you are not embarrassed. No, sir. <laughs> Don't cry, madam. God did not bring you here to embarrass you. I'm speaking to you in the open. In the name of Jesus Christ. I, I, I don't know whether in the name of Jesus Christ rise to a new level in your political career by the power that raised Christ from the dead. There is a kingmaker anointing. Listen to me. Kingmakers never become kings, but they enthrone kings and they remove kings. It's a grace. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord honor you. All of you who are standing here, my dear, shout Jesus as loud as you can. You. That's the name that is above every other name. I pray for all of you who are here. Everything holding you down right now. I speak in Jesus' name. Let it let you go now. It must let you go by the power that raised Christ from the dead. The Lord wants to set a family free. I'm seeing that the men in that family keep dying. This is what I'm seeing. This is a pattern. All the men, something continues to happen to them. Remember that happened to the widow at Nain? Her husband died. Her only son died. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Madam, can I pray for you? Yes. Hold on, please. Where are you coming from? Um, I'm from Kogi. I'm Zana's mother. I mean, not... Zana from England, the right sea. Oh, I see. God bless you, ma. You're welcome. This is Koinonia. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains around your chest and your hand. In Jesus' name. Help her, please. Look at this. Out of her now. Give Jesus praise. It's over forever. Mama, God bless you. You return back. Hallelujah. Sir, can I talk to you? This man on black wearing the nose mask. Please come. I hope you are not embarrassed, sir. Where are you coming from, sir? I want to pray for you. I'm seeing you trying to climb a ladder and the ladder is breaking and bringing you down. And the Lord is saying to prophesy to you so that you will rise. This is what I'm saying. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I decree and declare the power that lifts by the God of heaven. May that grace come upon you. May that grace come upon you. And you will rise in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want to pray. The Bible says, even the lawful captives. Hold on. Do you know what it means to be a lawful captive? To be a lawful captive means there is a legitimate ground upon the, which the devil is taking advantage of you. But it says, even the lawful captive. This is strange. There is a man of God. You are in ministry. You are going to run out now by the power of God. Just hold the person and bring the person here. You're in ministry. We're going to pray. There will be a massive deliverance here right now. Deliverance means a separation between you and the obstacle that stands your way. It doesn't have to be a spirit. It can be a mountain. Once it's an obstacle, it must go. Where is the... I just want to speak over the... I'm, I'm seeing a man of God that... It takes more than sincere desire to do ministry. 
It takes the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, help him. Grant him the grace to do ministry with integrity. And in the name of Jesus, look at me, sir. You love God. And I love you, but your spirit man is very weak. In the name of Jesus, strength for you. Strength through prayer. Strength through the word. Strength through spiritual exercises. Receive an impartation now of fresh grace. You will return back and the work will begin to speak. In the name of Jesus Christ. As powerful as Jesus is, he needed John to open his heavens. Even if you are a midwife, there are times that you will not be the one to give birth. You will need somebody to help you. Are we together now? Let's pray. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Inside here, following online, at the overflow. When we shout this name, we let the nations know that he is the doer of these things. Now, the moment we shout that name, listen to me. There are chains and there are yokes that have tied people down. Some of you, as you are standing, you are representing families. At this shout, the fire from heaven will fall upon you. Please, I want you to bring them out. Bring your various overflows. Just bring them out. Those at the balcony, please be careful so that you don't just fall from there. Are we together now? Father, you anointed us and you call this a miracle service. There are men and women who have been under yokes of bondage. All kinds. Bondages of delay. Bondages of retrogression. The ill speakings of people. And the Bible declares for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. That he may destroy the works of the evil one. Therefore Lord as we lift up this shout. The healer. The same way the walls of Jericho fell. Let everything that does not name the name of Christ give way. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One. Two, three, shout Jesus. I command every power. I command every force. Bring them out. Every yoke of ancestry holding those people down in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. My God. God had so highly exalted him and given him a name and office above every other office, above thrones, above dominion. I declare every power holding you down, bring them out. That power is dislodged now. We are still praying. Please bring them out. Some of you are representing families. God is asking me to pray. The power of God is going to come upon you. But it's not just for yourself. It's for your entire family. Lord, every family represented here. Makatos Keba. That is under any kind of yoke. I declare by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. That yoke is broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Broken now. There are people here Every time good things are about to manifest You keep walking But just when it's about to happen You may go back and have dreams And encounters and wake up And you will have bought precious things Anyone here That experiences failure Just at the edge of breakthrough May fire fall upon you now May fire fall upon you now May fire fall upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down, every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. We will praise Adonai From the rising of the sun To the end of every day Praise 
Hallelujah. Elijah. I'm hearing a name, Elijah. Elijah. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. Please stretch your hands towards me. I just saw something in the spirit. If you can, just stretch your hands towards me. I saw a vision and I'm seeing what looks like a bag being given to people. And the Lord is telling me, this is, I'm seeing written on it, good news. I'm seeing the number 71. Just stretch your hands towards me. Father, hold on please. From my left to my right, everyone who must receive this, inside, outside, right now, I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon you. Help them please. In the name of Jesus, sounds of good news. Sounds of good things. Sounds of good. Help them. Some of you news that you have been waiting for for many years. Many years. Certainly. Certainly God is preaching it. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Certainly. What do you do? You are Elijah. What do you do? Pastor. You are a pastor. Where? You have your own church? Can I pray for you? You are Elijah. Hold on, please. Don't. Mr. Man, I'm seeing fire coming on you now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor, can I pray for you? Listen, we are co laborers, and God granted us grace to help one another. Are we together now? I stretch my hands towards you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you. May your ministry step into profound dimensions of signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. Please look up. I'm seeing a very interesting vision. The Lord just opened my eyes and I saw a grave and I saw it open and I saw things, not people, things that are there coming out. I'm declaring to someone, this is not just restoration, this is resurrection. There are some of you, they've concluded things about you, about your family, about businesses. I call upon my God, everything that has been buried over your destiny, that you will not rise conclusions made over your family I call upon my God who is your God that which is dead come back to life that which is dead come back to life help them please every family dying businesses dying families come back to life by the power of the Holy Ghost Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, Zainab. Zainab. I pray for all of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the power that raised Christ from the dead rest upon you. My dear, this lady, shout Jesus as loud as you can. My friend, what do you do? Sales boy. You are a sales boy. Yes, Where? Equal boy. I'm selling gas. Sir. You are selling gas. 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 Uh, Refilling of gas. Will you believe what I will tell you? Yes, sir. Go and register a company. Okay. Huh? Okay. God is taking you into oil and gas. Stand up. My friend. We are not entertainers, so we fear God. I will not stand here and rubbish myself in the presence of God's people. Huh? Go, please hold on. Please don't come out at random. Don't worry, God will minister to everyone. There's order in the house of God so that we don't turn. But I want to pray for you. It will not happen now, but it's going to happen. Be faithful. I saw light just coming to the, the choir. Just saw light. 
worship area. I don't know what it is, but I just saw a strong anointing. There are people there in the name of Jesus. The, the, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming. They say that a river, a river. There are people falling into that river in the name of Jesus Christ, the Christ of God. That river, it will bring in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Please, who is signing up? Where are you coming from? But not say. What do you do, man? Oh. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing you having something to do with the right man. This has to do with two areas. The Lord is going to honor you. The business that is going to run to great things. And it will lift you. Lift you in ways that will surprise you. I know you are currently in security, but God is catching you. That's just my hands. And I declare in the name of Jesus, may that grace be for you right now. Hold on. Hold on. I want to pray for you. Give up. is 13 years, even if it is 3 months, in the name of Jesus, barrenness dies now barrenness dies now barrenness dies now in the name of Jesus Christ Madam, I pray for you, according to the time of life, in the name that is above all names, go and tell your husband that here at this miracle service the Lord has brought visitation for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help her please. Praise the Lord. Why is she here? Your name is Zainab. You too? Huh? I'm a Muslim. You called me last week. You are a Muslim? Yes. It doesn't matter. You are welcome. This is God's house. Huh? There's no prejudice. God bless you. Whether we love everyone, Buddhist, Muslim, whatever you are, you just come. One guarantee is that you will not go back the way you came. That's the deal. But you are welcome. You come the way you are. I want to pray for you, Zainab, in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bring a visitation for your family. A supernatural visitation. Everyone trusting God for a job. I just saw something now. Please believe. Hmm. You are trusting God for a job. Wherever your job is, in the name of Jesus Christ, may God take you there right now. I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Some of you, by this time next week, I stand by the God of my covenant and I declare by this time next week may God surprise you you will come and stand here and you will testify of the marvelous hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah we are going to pray for the sick shortly I am hearing a name Pius who is Pius? Pius you are Pius you are a worker here you are a new security here it's still the same thing all 
this ministry doesn't whether you're a worker you know most times people have a cliche in churches that workers don't receive anything only other people get, no this once jesus shows up including me who is speaking everybody you will swim in that river and you receive are we together i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ i declare by the power of the holy spirit no the pious i'm seeing is wearing white like me like this this is what you are wearing <laughs> you are surprised <laughs> this is the place of encounter this is the place of surrender sir don't worry i'll still pray for you ah you are if we love our workers you are faithful how could i'm just trying to say that this is was not the word you understand but it means that listen whether god gives you a prophetic word in your ears or not the prophecy of scripture is valid you can use the prophecy of scripture and prophesy to yourself and it will happen the same way a prophet spoke to you no matter how accurate what we say is we still see in part the word of god scripture must be exalted above every gift and every prophetic word this becomes your comfort that even though we may not have the time to mention everybody's name and even if there is time we do not have the bible says though i speak with tongues of men and angels though i understand all visions and all of that we're limited but it's for you to believe sir i want to pray for you where are you coming from sir abuja here can i pray for you god is lifting people this is what i'm seeing god is lifting people God is showing me someone you work in civil defense it's time for your lifting this is this is civil defense civil defense now madam you work in civil defense I will pray for you but is there anybody on the balcony that works in civil defense this is what I'm seeing this is a lady or not a man is there someone like that? Balcony. Oh, find out. Find out first. Where, where were you sitting? Come. Come and stand. This is the place of encounter. Hallelujah. My dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what is the issue that is on the table. According to the word of the Lord, if God could locate you, I declare, and I also pray for you, also civil defense, madam. I want to pray for you. Where are you from? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will come and stand, both of you. You will stand here before the people of God and you will testify of strange liftings. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Sir, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help her, please. Daddy, I don't know why you are standing outside here, but I want to pray for you. We are going to pray for the sick. I'm going to pray for you. Is it husband and wife? Madam, I need to pray. Because I hope you are not embarrassed, sir. Can I talk to you? Ah, we have to pray. I believe in miracles. God is taking sickness. Sickness. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing many things. I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down. Up and down. Up and down. This is BP. Two people will start running in the overflow outside. Outside. Now, we may not have time to bring them out outside. I'm seeing the power of God. 
outside the overflow outside just bring them to the front of the projector screen i want to pray for them because the lord is taking away the yoke of delay over those families this is what the lord is showing me sir may my god bless you in the name of jesus and for you sir may my god please stand up you're a worker what do you want god to do for you Look at a wise man. You heard what he said? He said, I want to know him more. Is it not relationship that brought this privilege now? Don't you think relationship has other privileges too? The greatest prayer request is relationship. You can have a man's hand, but when you have his heart, you have access to everything are we together and i truly pray that god will help you to know him more Amen. the holy ghost that was given to us to help us know the lord but in addition to that the fringe benefits of that relationship that is speaking your life in the name of jesus christ i bless you in the name of jesus christ I don't know why God is visiting the workers. One of you, ushers here, the power of God is coming on you. Eh? you I know you are ushers, you are doing your work, but let God visit you first, then you continue doing what you are doing. I'm seeing the power of God on the ushers now. We are going to... I'm seeing a strong anointing. Star, there is something the devil put on your throat. Sir? This is what I'm saying. I don't know you, sir. Let, let, let the wife talk. Madam, please talk to us. I'm not, I'm not sure I got it. This is what I'm saying. I'm, they were operating and I had an operation. Three weeks ago, they said they're going to do another one next week. In fact, by Saturday, they say it's cancer. I don't know. So I'm running around for God to help me. Every human agent in partnership with dark powers over your husband, madam, or over your wife, sir, or over your children or over your parents i bow my knees to the god of my covenant and i declare in the name of jesus that thing is destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now help them destroyed now please stand up let me tell you this you see one of the ways that god helps you to dispense the anointing is he plants compassion in you over the lives of people this is somebody's father and grandfather now he's saying that look doctors are a miracle they are instruments of god's mercy without them will not even live to even learn the ways of god but look what is happening to this man now we're about to pray for the sick shortly i'm sure there's a reason why the lord left him here that he came together with our mother here and now, they are, I don't know what kind of surgery they are going to do now. But that you will never be able to speak again. Sir. Come again. So that it's either life or death. Don't worry, madam. You are in the right place. You are a man of God here, please listen to me. You see the reason why we must keep contending for the anointing. It's not enough to say I'm Apostle Joshua Selman, I am this. Our alignment, there are destinies tied to our obedience. There are destinies tied to our prayer, our fasting, our diligence. The miracle that happens to this man and this family can bring many to Jesus. So no matter what level you are in ministry, 
Please let this thing plant a genuine hunger. All these celebrity things that destroy us, push it one side and settle with God. Carry genuine fire, ever increasing fire. Yesterday's oil may not solve today's challenges. You will need fresh fire for the season. And if you are not ready to stay with God, don't ask God to give you members. What will you be doing with them? It's evil to ask people to come and gather people everywhere and then waste their time, share the grace and go back. Please don't be offended. I'm, not, I'm just sharing with you a passion. I'm looking at this man's situation. Daddy, we're going to pray for you. And I believe Jesus that he will do a miracle for you. I don't know what it is that he has put. And then God will heal you of BP. Because I saw a thermometer going up and coming down. Can we pray for the sick now? In the name of Jesus. Please, no, stand up, sir. God bless you. My people have prayed for you. You can go back to your seat. Let's pray for the sick now. It's important. You see, I know that we live in very challenging times. And the devil has complicated matters by bringing all kinds of sicknesses on people. We had the miracle service in Zaria um, day before yesterday and I was touched and broken when a woman came who had showed me they, they were doing dialysis for her. It's a family that is not well, very well to do. And then in the midst of it now, I'm not a doctor, but medical people will tell you here. I don't know how much it costs to do dialysis. But it's a very serious thing. Hallelujah. But Jesus still heals. And right now, please listen, we have to do it very fast because I know your prayer requests are here. By the way, if you are yet to write it, please make sure that you do so quickly. But I'm going to minister to the sick right now. And when I pray for you, all the overflows outside, following online, maybe some of you are following from hospitals on a sick bed, death sentence, about to go. I want you to believe Jesus. Hallelujah. As soon as I pray for you, listen please, the power of God will come upon you. Already miracles have started happening. Now this is what will happen. As soon as the power of God touches you, and I ask you to check yourself, I want you to run out here. Please, whether they are overflow one, two, three, down to the basement or outside, those online, you can register your testimony online. I want you to come out, use either this place. No, 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 you don't have to bring them out. I'm praying for them right from there. So whether you come out from here or here, once you are healed, then you'll bring them out. You don't have to bring the sick out. They'll crowd this place. I'm just going to pray for you. This is just because our father came out and stood here. Are we together? Now lay your hands very quickly, everyone. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. He touched me. The master touched me. And oh, what joy fills my soul. Something happened, and now I know He touched me. There will be a loud shout of a gentleman and a lady. The moment that shout happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. A gentleman and a lady. Now we're ready to pray. Please, I'd like you to believe with a loud amen as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God, the healing anointing is flowing here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every devil behind infirmities. You don't have to bring them out. Right now, miracles are happening. I command those devils to give way now. 
Give way now. Give way now. Now in the name of Jesus Christ, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Migraine headaches, be healed in Jesus' name. Ulcers, be healed in Jesus' name. All kinds of growths and lumps around the body, I command them to disappear now. Bone conditions be healed now. Those on crutches, those on wheelchairs, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now and you try to stand up. You're on a cross, lift the cross and start walking. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deaf ears, partial deafness, complete deafness. Be healed now. Blind eyes, open now. All kinds of cancers and ulcers like our father here. Now I'm praying for you, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands to you. And then as a point of contact to everyone having any demonic death sentence. In Jesus' name, be healed now. Be healed now. The Lord is showing me people having severe abdominal problems all kinds of abdominal problems here the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ there's someone what you have looks like what we call parkinson's i think i'm right that thing that makes you Hallelujah. That was a powerful message from God's servant, Apostle Joshua Salman. We believed you are truly blessed by that message we just listened to. And I want to encourage us that we should go back on this message, watch it over and over again for a better understanding, for a better opening of our knowledge. And as you do that, the Lord Almighty will bless us in Jesus' name. Please go back, reflect on these things, meditate on them. And as you do that, the Lord Almighty will bless us in Jesus' name. I want to encourage that as we go about our day-to-day -day activities, let us remember Ephesians 6 and the full armor of God. Life may throw its fairy darts our way, but God has equipped us with everything we need to stand firm. I want us to put on the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, and the shield of faith, and the helmet of salvation. Don't forget the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Stay with the word. Pray with the word stay with it practice pray with the word there are so many valuables there are so many wisdom in the word of god there are so many answers there are so many answers to prayer revelations in the word of god so i want us to not forget that it is a sword of the spirit and i want us to stay in the word in a time like this like i always say that is one of our greatest 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 battle acts so please let us stay in the word let us take our time to read through Ephesians 6 and also reflect on how we can apply the spiritual weapons in our daily battles if this message has strengthened you i want you to share with someone who needs this um message who needs this armor who needs this powerful powerful preaching that we just listened to from god's servants i want you to share with someone and also if you're just coming across reflector hub tv please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you can get equipped you can continue equipping yourself with the word of god and getting your ways right with god and i pray that as we do that the lord will bless us in jesus name amen let's not forget the comment section it's always op always open your thoughts are welcome your prayer requests are welcome your opinions are welcome just drop it in the comment section as and as you do that the lord almighty will bless you in jesus name amen don't forget to like this video too please drop a like uh because we believe you were blessed by this video drop a like on this video and as you do that the lord almighty will bless us in jesus name amen thank you once again for staying up to the end of this video and 
let us put into practice what we just listened to let us take it to heart let us meditate let us go back on this message again and again for a better understanding uh, thank you so much stay blessed and see you in the next video